What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Let's Draw. I'm your host, BJ Dell, and that's right, the new Procreate 5X closed beta went live today, and guess what? I've got access to it, so for the next seven days, I'm gonna do a daily video each day highlighting a new feature of the update. Today's video is gonna focus on the new reference feature. You're gonna be able to bring in reference photos in a new way never seen before in Procreate, plus it also features face painting. What? 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 Face painting and procreate, yeah, it's something you gotta see to believe, so keep watching. So let's talk about one of the exciting features of the upcoming Procreate 5X update. That being said, what you're seeing today, this is a closed beta. It's not available to the public yet. I'm not sure when it's gonna be made available, nor do I know when the actual update's gonna go live, but stay tuned. I will let you know more when I know more. Hopefully this series of videos though is gonna kind of give you a jump start so you can hit the ground running when it comes out. So let's talk about this new feature, reference. It's under the wrench icon, under actions, and then under the canvas tab here. And you can see it's got a little toggle switch right here. So what this is gonna do, is gonna allow you to bring in a reference image to help with your sketch process when you're starting to create. Of course, with Procreate, there was a couple of ways previously you could do this. One of which, pulling up from the bottom here, you could do the split screen way of bringing in your photo gallery adding in an image here and then bringing it back down and then just kind of going back and forth looking from left to right to see exactly where you wanted everything and using the reference image that way. So here there's a couple of issues. Number one, this is a split screen, so it's gonna take up some valuable real estate here. You get a big screen or you have a full screen in Procreate to use, and then all of a sudden it's gone because you're splitting it, you're sharing it with the Photos app over here, so you're not able to use the full screen in Procreate. The other thing too, if you wanna use this reference photo over here as kind of a color palette, you can't actually go in and use the color picker because this is not Procreate, that's just your Photos app, it's just bringing up your camera roll so you can't do that either so those are a couple of limitations for doing it that way of course the other option that you had was going up to your wrench icon adding and then inserting a photo from your camera roll and then bringing in that photo into procreate this way when i uh, went with this route i would usually kind of pull it up here to the top corner and shrink it down make a new layer and then start my sketch process just like this using that reference photo up there at the top. The only problem here, of course, if you wanna get a little bit more of a detailed view of what you're drawing, you're gonna to have to zoom in here, look at it, and then zoom back out, and you're gonna to have to almost do it by memory, or you're gonna to have to bring the photo down here and then zoom in more here, and it's a very back and forth type of thing, which is a pain. The plus side here, of course, is since this photo is in Procreate, you could use the color picker to choose what colors you wanted. But like I said, a pain having to zoom in and out, and that's all changed with the upcoming update to Procreate with the release of Procreate 5X. So let's talk about it. What does it do? What's reference gonna make available to you? So we're gonna go back up to our wrench icon, go to canvas and turn on reference, and you're gonna see it's gonna bring up this box gives you three options at the bottom, but we're gonna be concerned with image first here. So let's hit image, and let me clear this. It's gonna give you import image, brings up your camera roll, and there we go. We can bring in our cat, and you'll see two different boxes. When we zoom in and out here with our main canvas, it does not affect the zoom on our reference. Likewise, we can zoom in and out of our reference photo over here. So this is gonna make it super easy if you need to get in for those detailed looks, or then if you need to pull back out further to get a little bit wider view of stuff, you can do that and it's super easy to go back and forth to make sure that everything is exactly where you need it. Likewise, if this is too big, you can touch here and then kind of resize this any way you want, making it bigger or smaller as you go along. So this is gonna be a game changer for people that use reference photos. It's gonna make things a lot easier. 
So next up, let's talk about the canvas option. Let me go ahead and delete this and I'm gonna turn on my cartoon mascot Smudge the Raccoon. So by hitting canvas, you're gonna see here, it's gonna show us exactly what is on the canvas. This is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna use this a lot in my videos because as I like to do really close in detailed work, you'll see zooming in here, does not zoom in over here. So you'll see a lot of times in my videos, I'll get real close, have to zoom out, see how it looks, zoom back in for some more detailed work, zoom back out, and this kind of defeats having to do that constant zooming in and out to see what it looks like. So I really love this. Same thing here, you can zoom in here if it needs to be bigger, and then just going around, doing all the really close detailed work, you've got a clear view of what you're seeing zoomed out over there. This one's a game changer too. I love this. It'll be featured a lot in my upcoming videos, so stay tuned for that. And then finally, our third option for reference is we have face. With face, I cannot show you face from the top down view, so I'm gonna have to switch over to actually do screen recording on the iPad, and you're gonna see why in a second. Okay, so I've got a new canvas opened and I switched over to the iPad screen recording and you're gonna see why in a second that I could not film this with a top-down camera. This is a really fun feature. I think you're gonna spend hours and hours messing with this when you get the update. I think it's gonna be the first thing people jump to and you're gonna have a blast playing around with this. So we talked about canvas and image options and reference. The third and final one is face and you're gonna see the magic happen as soon as I hit face because when I do, I become the newest member of the Jabberwockies dance crew. That's right, stay tuned for my fourth channel, Dancing with BJ Dell, where I teach you all the latest and greatest in hip hop moves and break dancing like only a fat, middle-aged white guy can. <laughs> so let's talk about what you're seeing on the screen right now. So I've got a white canvas. That's why my face is showing up white. If I move my hand in front of the camera or in front of my face, you'll see it turn it on and off. It's mapping in real time to my face. Here in the canvas, we've got the pluses for the eyes, the cross section here for the nose, and then the one for the mouth. And I've got this set up already for symmetry. And as we draw on the screen here, you're gonna see that this maps what I'm drawing to my face in real time. How cool is this? I'm sure a lot of you guys watching right now are already getting some crazy ideas of some of the things that you could create with this. I think a lot of people are gonna have fun with this. Parents playing around with it with their kids and doing all kinds of crazy and creative stuff. There are a lot of different possibilities that you can do with this. And it's one of those more fun features than anything else. And you'll see as I draw here, everything is mapped perfectly. As I turn my face, everything follows. Of course, if something's not lined up right, you can go in and select it and kind of adjust based on your face if you wanna move the mouth here. And there you go. So that's one option. The other option, I've got this preloaded in here. You can load in a picture and all of a sudden, that's right, I become Pennywise. We all float down here, Georgie. How cool is that? Look at it, map perfectly. As I turn, everything stays with my face all in real time, can blink my eyes move my mouth around and everything stays exactly where it's at. And then the cool thing too, if you go up to options, gives you the option to take a photo, record a video, camera or full screen. So a lot of stuff here, you can take videos and send those to people, post them on Facebook. I think a lot of people are gonna waste a lot of time playing around with this. So I'll switch back to Jabberwocky now. So hopefully you liked today's video. If you haven't subscribed yet, do that. Like I said, I'm gonna post a new one of these videos highlighting a new feature in Procreate 5X every single day for the next week so you guys can get a feel for what the update's gonna bring you once it goes live. As for me, I can be found online, bjdell.com, as well as on Instagram and Twitter, at bjdell. So until next time, keep creating.